In this video, I'll go over the momentary push buttons. So in the library, you'll see there's uh, several items of this type. So these two um, have a single state and just a one image. Uh, and the only difference is the UFC and text one is the background image. Uh, and for the text, the text font, font color uh, and settings uh, preset there. The momentary button with lamp uh, we'll see in a bit, and that one has the same input characteristics, but can also have two image states. Um, so you can have a off and on lamp uh, display. So for the Harrier UFC buttons, um, I'll drag this over, and um, instead of making individual images uh, for each button, I'll just use this background gray and type in the value here. So to send a push button command, we need a button ID, uh, device ID, the value will press. So this is while when it's pressed down, uh, it will send a one command. And then when the button is released, it'll send a zero. And so we can use the ID lookup table here and go to AV8B and search for UFC. Uh, and here you'll see we have one through nine and zero and all the other clear and safe buttons. Uh, so for UFC one, uh, and we'll see that's the buttons increase uh, incrementally here. So we can kind of use that to enter them quickly. So one at that. And you'll see it's uh, captured that button ID and device ID. Uh, so for the rest, um, I'll just copy and paste uh, and fill those in. Okay, so now once those are entered, uh, we can see if I press the four key here, it also is pressed and released here. So as I press and hold, it will stay pressed and then release, uh, uh, release. So that's the one and zero. So these settings here also have a disable send while released. Uh, and the, what that will do is if you send it and release, it won't release here. So I'll disable that and press again so it sends a release. Uh, this isn't really meant for these type of push buttons, but uh, it may be useful in, in other situations. Uh, and so we'll also just use the momentary button with lamp uh, to demonstrate that as well. Uh, so for this, I will um, create the master mode switch buttons here. So I've already created uh, image icons to fill in here. So I'll copy these over uh, first for the air to ground, you just drag and then go to the second state and bring up the uh, illuminated uh, version. So, and let's find this uh, key. So master mode and we want the air to ground. Okay, so now that those are populated, uh, one thing you'll notice I populated the 
DCS command, so the button press, uh, but I did not use the uh, DCS ID master mode uh, selector. So these DCS IDs are the value of, of whether the button, the physical button is pressed or not, not the illumination. To find the lamp, we'll go to the exports module and open the AV8B and a Lua script. Uh, and here we have lamps. So, uh, and then right below is nav vstall air to ground. Um, so you'll see that these uh, values 283, 285, and 281 um, are different than the DCS IDs uh, for the physical buttons themselves. So uh, this we want to set to the image state change value. So air to ground, we'll have to manually enter the 281 here. For the vstall 285, and that should light up since that's currently lit. And for nav 283. Okay, so now we should be able to press these buttons and they will illuminate and switch appropriately.